I tell you what, these water bottles, it's only been two days and I'm over it. Square County Homestead and today we are upgrading our fully automatic rabbit water we've moved all the rabbits here to the back so our very first video was when we installed the rabbit waters uh, so we're going from these with the little tube we're gonna try these which we had these work pretty good for can't lie but we want to try it just to see what happens with this so let me show you what you're going to need tool wise we want a couple pair of channel locks small pair some pipe cutters measuring tape uh, materials you're going to need these are the t we just bought the whole a whole big set tees with the little knuckles and they're already you can tell they're already threaded so this is half inch pipe to like a three eighths knuckle there's your little bag of knuckles now <clears throat> you're gonna need a toilet fill valve Teflon tape, just all purpose PVC cement or glue and a primer. You also gonna need, I got a two drop system. I've got a rubber washer, a metal washer and a half inch conduit nut. So I have two sets of these. going to need half inch PVC of course and I've got two of this whole little system here that's a half inch mail ball valves and a union we got zip ties silicone pipe insulation you're gonna need some electrical tape or duct tape possibly. And our food grade bucket. Now, this was the same bucket I used on the other system. So I'll go ahead and I just kinda made a little detail here. That's where our fill valve is gonna be. That's a seven eighths inch hole. Our two outlets are gonna be a three quarter inch hole. Okay, so this is our, where we're gonna begin this is going to go inside our bucket up through the bottom go ahead and dry fit all of this before you go to gluing uh, now some people don't glue any of this not me i'm going to glue it but uh this would be a union that way if something ever goes awry we can shut the water off to it this union will allow us to break away everything past this valve so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna glue this i've dry fitted everything i looked at it it's gonna work work out great so I'm gonna get all of this right here glued up. One thing to remember, when anytime you're gluing on some valves, whenever you get this glue on there, I'm not gonna actually put just a touch on the inside of this valve, just a little bit right on the rim. I'm only gonna put it on my pot. When I do that, when I stick this in, I don't want this where it could go back toward the valve. I want this valve up, my piece of pipe, just like that. Now I'm gonna work that valve back and forth. I'm just gonna keep working it. And all it takes is just a little bit of that glue to stick to that valve, the ball in that valve, and it'll be 
glued open or shut. So do this just a few times, then I always just leave it open. Okay, so that's where our fill valve goes. That's where these outlets are going. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put these in right now. So basically, I'm going to make a little bead of silicone right around the outside of the edge. Now I'm going to squirt silicone on the inside of the bucket as well, around those threads. That's where I've got the rubber washer, the metal washer, and that half inch conduit nut. That rubber's gonna go to the bottom of the bucket. Okay, so basically that's, that's what you're gonna have right here. Oh, can we see, there we go. This fill valve inside the bucket, rubber's on the inside, that red rubber there, little plastic seal on the outside. All right, tail valve is in, just like so. Now, if you don't want the fully automatic with the fill valve, you don't have to put that fill valve in there. You could do nothing but leave the bucket and have this set up, but then you're gonna be in there filling this bucket up every day. Okay, so there's our fill valve, and this is a commode line. It goes to this fill valve. Uh, there's the other end. I had to go to a 3 8 fitting, which is actually just a, just like you have in the house going to your toilet, okay? So my service line, this has always got water on it. You don't even have to use this. You can use a, uh, let me go back to here. You can get a connector that goes to a water hose. Or if you remember, you don't have to have this at all. You just have to fill this bucket every time. Okay, so we got the bucket back on the stand. Here's our outlets. <clears throat> there goes our little line from that fill valve. And we're going to connect this to this. Now, we, we waited until today. This is the second day because I wanted all this silicone to dry up. I want all of this uh, pipe glue to dry up. Plus, I, <clears throat> I wanted to let this pipe, the chemical smell, I guess you say, we want that to open up out of that pipe also. So if you do this, you don't want to give these rabbits the, the water the same day. Plus, when we get all this hooked up, we're going to flush it out real good. Make sure there's no no smell of the water. Okay, so we went ahead and connected this. This, this needs to be tight because this is actually our pressure line. So make sure this is tight. I got this off right now. We're about to test it. Uh, something I did with this bucket, I drew a small holes. Actually, I just run a, 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 a screw through there to make a tiny little holes and set the hole. What that's going to do is keep this from being vapor locked. So anytime you have a gravity fed system, it needs to vent. And I didn't, you don't want to put just a, a big hole because then trash or something could get inside. But uh, that's what we're looking at right now. We're about to test this. Now, both of our outlets, the valve is off. So no water can come out, this, out these. Let's cut this on. Now, we're filling the bucket up. Our water's coming out of this little hose here. We want to make sure that it's going to shut off when it's supposed to. Okay, so it's working. It shut off like it's supposed to. I've seen a little bit of trash floating around. So at the end, we'll flush this whole bucket out anyway. So now I'm looking to make sure that our silicone, that we don't have any leaks underneath. Everything's looking good so far. So now we're gonna run, and I'll show you how we're gonna run this line to these cages. Okay, so what I started with, I just put a couple of little zip ties here. There's one, there was, there's one. And I run my line to this Union 90 down. And then I just laid my tees out where I wanted it made to cut. All this is dry fitted, none of this is glued in. Same thing here, 
where I want it, 90 down to a valve. We're gonna put this valve on that we can flush this line out anytime we need to. So now we'll take this off. All we have to do is unscrew this union. And it's loose. So now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna glue it all together. Okay, so I broke this outside and we can kind of see a little better. I'm just gonna show you part of this, and I think it's the most important part. And that's just getting your T's uh, square with each other. So I'm gonna take the pieces in between the two T's. We're gonna put a little primer on there. Gonna take our glue. Little dab of do you. We'll hit that pipe a little bit. I don't have to go in this fitting. Don't matter which which way that T is on, because that's the first one. I give it a little twist. Now here comes our second T. Same thing. Little dab of do you. Now, this T, this T needs to match. So I'm gonna match it up, I'm gonna lay it on the table. And I'm gonna roll it until they're flat, just like that. Okay, so I hope you didn't think we were finished. Here's our actual little nipple. I put a little Teflon on, on the threads. You'll see the threads there. Probably also, probably maybe not necessary. Now we're just gonna Hand tighten these. Be sure not to cross thread. We're gonna to go ahead and insulate. We got grandpa's old timer. Just measure out. And I don't go on the fitting itself. I got my butt up against each fitting. Pop it on, pop it on. Take a little tape. Try to show you how we're going to cover this T. I'm going to cut probably six inches. I'm going to poke a hole. If y'all can see, I'm going to poke a hole right around the center. I'm going to make a little little X in there. and get you a few pieces of tape ready. There's my X, I'm gonna put it over that nipple. Take your tape. Pull it tight. Okay, so we come back in here, connect it back to our union right there. Valve is still off. I just come through here and I use black zip ties. Right there, I gotta cut this, these ends off. I just got two right, get that finger out of the way. Got two right there. Now I'm gonna open this water. I shut this valve, I wanna make sure nothing's leaking. I'm pretty sure it's not. Okay, now it's our gravity fed system, and I can hear the water. Yeah, it's bubbling, so that's letting me know that that water is going down in this line. Okay, so the line, <clears throat> our line is full. We we'll start flushing it.
This one's going, it's keeping up. See, it's putting new water in there. And let me go ahead and tell you, I built this little stand because the last system I had, we had it hanging up way up high. So if I ever wanted to add apple cider vinegar or something to the water, it was really a pain because I was having to get a ladder, go up there and do it to where now you can set it just above the height you need to run. This line does not have to be falling downhill. It can actually go uphill as long as it's not above the bottom of this barrel of this bucket. See this one, I've got a long way to go. So it's gonna be fine. I can run it level and it's gonna be just fine. Okay, so we flushed it. We're satisfied with the flushing on it. Now what I wanna do is come in here to our little nipple. Here it is. And I'm gonna even push it in. I'm gonna make sure there's no air. Of course, you got to make sure you're actually going to get water out of there. That looks good. We'll try the other one. Looking good. I tell you what, these water bottles, it's only been two days and I'm over it. The problem I see when they're drinking, these things are just pouring water out. I mean, it's... It's, it's making a just a mess. So, I think I'm gonna order some more nipples. But in the meantime, I've got some of these left over and they will screw right into these teas. So I've got a couple of them, so I'm gonna try these two first. So they just screw straight into, into that port. This is gonna be just a temporary solution, I'm pretty sure. Now it's springtime, it's not winter time. But thinking into the future, there's two things I'm worried about. Are they gonna chew this plastic up? And secondly, if it gets below freezing temperatures, I'm thinking that is gonna freeze up. So I've got another option I'm gonna look at and see if that helps. Okay, so you seen we got those watering cups there. Uh, I ordered some of these. It's just little brass inserts. Just thread in. I believe they actually call them, I think they're actually considered to be quarter inch threads. Now, they come in a five pack. These aren't cheap. They're like $18 for five. But they're well made. We're gonna stick these in. And it can't be no worse than those other nipples we had. Okay, so remember, we go back to our valve. Shut the valve off. Come right here. We're going to empty the water. All right, we're going to unscrew this nip, this system here out. That's out. And put our new one in. You don't have to put thread tape in on, on these threads. But, you go back. And they don't have to be super tight. Remember, this is just gravity fed water. So there's really no pressure. If you see, I've got it just like this. With that, the long end is to the bottom of it. So now, I just leave that open, come back. This basically gets all the air out of it. Go back in here. We're gonna make sure we're getting water. Yeah, so now it's been several days we got those same little brass fittings in there and man those are just a game changer no leak you can tell everything's dry around here uh, i actually got the poop catcher back in so that's that's always nice to have uh but yeah 
So that would be our choice of those brass nipples. All right, guys, so sometimes, you know, our misfortune is good for y'all, okay? We show you what works, what don't work. But like I said, that's for us here in Mississippi. It may not work in, for our friends in North Dakota, Canada, wherever. But uh, as always, we appreciate you watching. Any attaboys, criticisms, comments. Uh, maybe you got an experience that's better. Give a little insight. Leave in the comment section. But we always appreciate you watching.